interesting. You think so? The texture. Uh, it rather lacks form. Does it? Although certainly monochromatic, yet essentially the singular collation of colour certainly must be considered an undeclared property of an inherently intrinsic reality. Mm. That our world is colour is rather secondary to experience. Colour is merely the form, the frame of interpretive realisation. His work is certainly non-representation experience, yet represents painting itself. A total sense of indicative intimation. But in an aesthetic concept, it does give one a sense of needed morphogenesis, oh, yeah. a corresponding balance of symmetry still without representational form. Really? I like it. It would have to grow on it, me. Very conceptual. Intentional? Conceptual? The balance of symmetry? Of course. I'd say. Hmm. Mm. It's difficult to enter into this one oh, yes. because of the way the internal dynamics of the sexual signifier verges on codifying accessibility of the work. Accessibility? Yes. Well... Mm, it lacks a rawness, to put it simply. Well, yes, of course I agree. Mm. However, it does give one a feeling of um, primordial sophistication I rather like. Mm, the disjunctive perturbation of the gesture makes resonant the larger canvas. Mm, really? I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I find his work playful because of the way the subaqueous qualities of the purity of tonality notates his remarkable handling of the light. I agree. Wonderful quality. Playful. New work. I understand. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> I find his use of light most interesting. He knows what he's doing. I didn't say he didn't. He certainly captures the essence of singularity. I find the use of light actually frolicsome. Frolicsome? According to the critics, at least. I don't think I agree. I didn't say I agree. What do the critics know? I merely mentioned the use of light is frolicsome. Certainly. Hmm. Spirited. I am troubled by how the reductive quality of the figurative flow endangers the devious simplicity of the eloquence of the piece. I thought so too. Not that it detracts here from the works as a whole. No. Although I no longer paint, I find the metaphorical resonance. Resonance? <laughs> the tone, at least of the spatial relationships, fails to contextualise the def definitive formal juxtap juxtapositions. Interesting perspective. And then, and then of course, is uh, monochromatic use of paint uh, as a singular colour isn't the issue so much as his work exemplifies the colour of singularity. Oh, I would agree there, certainly. Mm. Sure is red. Red? Red? How do you mean? Red. Red. Red? But isn't that quite negligible to the piece? I don't know. Is that the issue of the work? To simply consider a piece to be red <laughs> seems a salient vanity. It fails to justify exploration of the essential elements. Mm. Oh. The issues of the work at work lean more towards the dynamic working dynamics of symmetry and light. That the painting is red is not the important point, but that it is a painting of red. <laughs> oh. There's the theoretical background, the suggested layers of colours, the an imposed transparency and defiant opaqueness that is never simply immediate. He's got a green and a blue one. But I like this red one the best. A dancing woman with red flowers. I can see the dancing woman. The way he put the paint on gives a real feel to it. In fact, there was a woman who was standing right here a little while ago and dancing. Boy, I love this one. Excuse me. Excuse me. 